a lot of reflection and I do a lot of thinking about the things that I want to achieve in that year. It isn't just a freaking manifestation board. It's an actual thing that I can go back to and I swear this works like a freaking charm. What's up? It's Heather LaBoss here and welcome back to my channel LaBossy where I teach you how to boss up your life. Bookmark this video so that you can return back to it. I really believe this is going to be a powerful resource for you guys. If you want to do this, like just create an account on Canva. It's free. Once you're logged in, all you're going to do is just go up to this right here. It says create a design. You're going to click on it and you're going to choose the US letter portrait. You could choose any of them, but that's the one that I personally like to use. This is what I've come up with so far. I like to have a theme or slash quote of the year 2024 what I put is I can do whatever I set my mind to I think that's a pretty you know empowering thing 2023 has been extremely stressful I don't want to go into next year feeling a bunch of stress I really want to have harmony which I'll get into later with some of my other goals but uh, yeah like the sparkly part is I still want to have a good time I still want to go out but also take the time to really think about the good things that happened this year because that can really supercharge you into the following year. These are some of the things that I put on there. Uh, I just, I really loved going to Vimon and meeting the people that I did. Little bird, um, don't worry, it wasn't a baby bird, but I saved the bird out of the tree. This is when I was creating my t-shirt line and I had so much fun doing that. Worked with Lacey Skulls from VH1's Rock of Love. Got a little hamster. These are all things that I experienced this year that I'm really grateful that happened. I'll have a whole other video if you're having a difficult time really getting into the state of gratitude. So I want to help you get out of that state so I'll have a whole other video talking about that with you guys but anyways that is kind of the overview I also did some journaling I talked about the things that I'm really happy uh, that happened think about who you really want to embody coming on this next year who do you want to become now I know in a lot of uh, the manifestation world they talk about don't worry about the how it's gonna happen worry about I don't know, just like what you want. I think it's actually really powerful to think about different steps, the different action things that you can start doing to create small wins for yourself. Ramit Sethi talks about that a lot. If you can start to bake in small wins, it's going to make it really exciting to keep going. So you're gonna wanna give yourself midpoints. You're gonna wanna give yourself that little thing to make you excited about going after your big goal because your big goal is gonna take a lot of time and effort and all that good stuff. So let's get into some of the things that I put on my board. Okay, I have not finished this. This usually takes me a week or two to really complete. I do a lot of reflection. And I do a lot of thinking about the things that I want to achieve in that year. And even if it doesn't end up happening, this acts is like my freaking go-to book. Okay, it literally acts as my... Um, strategy guide I will return to this if there's books that I've written down so even like even if we like went back for a second and return to you know like I had my whole other vision board was talking about children and stuff <laughs> uh, which didn't end up happening I mean like that would have been like a lot to do this year like that it, uh, whatever basically what I'm saying is like I create a resource for myself like this isn't just a freaking manifestation board it's an actual thing that I can go back to and I can be like oh my gosh like I remember that little clip on a podcast or I heard about this book or I heard about whatever and I will be able to come back and look at my goal look at the thing I did that for business as well This was more so for creating my own business. I have all these books over here. I knew I had it, yeah. And this is like more business books and stuff like that. So yeah, that's what I love about creating these PDFs because they really act as a resource guide for myself. Okay, so let's go back. Um, you're gonna see, okay, I'm not gonna share every freaking goal that I have with you guys. Okay, some things have to be, you know, kept sacred over here. But I do wanna let you in on my life a little bit. So the goal that I have for myself going on to this next year is I really want to buy land in West Virginia. I, it's like a huge goal for myself, okay? I wanna buy this freaking piece of land, buy it outright and be like, you know what? Like, I don't even care. Even if you took my house away, like you just like repoed my house because I wanna get a mobile home, I could still live on that land, have my garden, like everybody could piss off. And I don't know, like, I know that's coming from like a really stubborn, weird place. And you're probably thinking like, what in the world is like going on in her mind to think that way? <sighs> Besides just like distrust of the world, 
I'm kind of just done with the rat race is really the best way to put it. Um, I live in Las Vegas right now. I'm really over it. Like this place is like low key, like a portal to hell. I'm just convinced. Um, so my dream is to revive my sim imagination. This is like a fun fact of mine. Okay, so when I was younger and I was playing the sims, like it was like fifth grade or something like that, right? My dad had these books in his garage, which were layout floor plans and I would take them and then I would just like create in the sims these floor plans from the books that I was looking at. I was so fascinated with home design. It was actually something that I studied for a little bit when I first went to college. If you're trying to buy land, you really have to look into making sure you get the mineral rights that nothing weird has been buried underneath the ground there's not weird sounds and I don't know there's like a factory nearby like there's a lot of things that go into buying a piece of property that I've been looking into okay I included this picture I don't know if you guys have seen it pop it up really quick okay great so this music video right here I remember having it on my myspace back in the day and um I love this music video. I just, I love this song and this music video so much. So um, I want this to be the vibe. I wanna to move to West Virginia. I want to have a nice life around kind-hearted people that just don't have their heads so far up their ass. This music video is like what, it's like everything, okay? So, plus she's like really hot. I'd like to look like her, Gemma. <laughs> okay, so this is my vision. I want to be able to pick out a modular home that has similar features to my current apartment. And I just want like pretty trees all around me. Oh my gosh, I'm like so excited. And if I'm lucky enough to find somebody to share this experience with, oh, there's like a bird that just came in. Hi, little bird. Somebody to share my life with, like, I would be very excited about that too. Okay, next page. But I just, oh my God, this gets me so excited. So one of the things that I do with almost every vision board book that I put together is that I will also think about things that I want to buy because to me, at least, it makes it very tangible in my mind. It helps me budget. It just gets me really excited. And then when I actually do get something on my list of things that I've like plotted out for myself, I care about it so much more. More. Drew and I are no longer together, but he took me to this really nice pumpkin patch with this giant chicken coop thing and I was so inspired by it and I'm like, I want that. So I found the one, I'm pretty sure it's the same one that they had and yeah, it's only, a, I mean, like if you think about it, it's only a thousand dollars. That's totally doable. I was even specific about the certain chickens that I wanted and I'm just, I'm pretty stoked guys. And also, I'm just putting this out there. If you happen to know anything about that kind of lifestyle, please, please, please leave me a comment down below. Once you're done kind of charting out your goals is you're going to want to script. So scripting is a thing that if you're in the manifestation community, it gets talked about a lot, but it really is going to help pre-engage your mind. And I swear this works like a freaking charm. Like it really freaking does. Oh, it's like almost emotional just reading this. Um, it makes my heart feel so warm and full every time I think about it. I love how I took inspiration from my Las Vegas apartment and I got to build my own home on such a beautiful, quiet, serene piece of land. Anytime I go anywhere, I feel so welcome and loved. So that is like what you can do for yourself to really make your goal come to life. And this is like a really, really powerful technique, guys. Like don't sleep on this. So anyways, let's go on uh, to the next one. And I'm going to share this last one, then I'm going to share it with you how to actually build this out on Canva just because maybe you're like new to it and I just want to show you how to like put the pictures in and all that good stuff. But let's go on. So this goal of mine is going to be more so like a five to ten years goal. It's not going to happen overnight, but I have this vision of creating a learning center. I had a stay at home mom. So she took care of all that. But most people nowadays have to have two parents to freaking support life. <laughs> to sustain life <laughs> and so in my opinion i'm like well how is that even possible families that are working so hard they don't even have time to pick up their kids but what if there was more after school programs that actually made the things that are very important that are going to help them career-wise succeed be taught to them in a fun engaging way where you're not getting tested on it you're not like made to feel like it's this pressurized thing. learning different things about stem education in a way that is more engaging and it's not based on taking tests it's not based on that it's an after-school program 
So again, I know maybe it sounds like I'm smoking Puff the Magic Dragon over here, but if this ever were to happen, some of the things that are influencing my ideas and thinking behind this is Peter Levine's work, which talks about trauma. So helping parents being able to understand like how to motivate their kids and not re-traumatizing. Um, I put Feifei on there, by the way. She runs the Vision Learning Labs at Stanford. We like her work because she's really a pioneer in AI. It's kind of like that. Like, if we could put... This is why I hate Vegas. I hate it so much here. Can't wait to just hear birds chirp. What if a student from her Vision Lab came to one of these programs, I'm not saying that specifically, but just like get my drift, and they were able to give lessons and talk to the kids. What if that was available? You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of kids in school today, they're just not shown the different possibilities of what they can do with their life. And I think this is just so powerful. So I put that on there. And yeah, I put like Elon Musk on here because I, like, I had like a dream about him a like two weeks ago or something and that was like an interesting dream on its own i don't should i share it maybe oh i guess i'll share it with you so it's kind of weird you know no i'm not gonna share this dream it's too weird <laughs> no i put him on here because i really liked uh what he had to say about advertisers recently and how they could all kiss his ass it was like great really want to embody that energy yeah okay we're gonna go on um, so I haven't done these yet. Uh, again, like this takes me a while to come up with everything that I want to do. So I put fashion. I want to tap into my teenage angsty self again, where I had such a great just fashion sense. I would plan my outfits the night before and I was just so creative in what I wore. And when I look back, cause I vlogged like this entire year and my, you know, holidays and everything and and you know, like, I didn't really dress up. It was kind of like the era in my life that I was in. I want to just be like, oh, princess over here. <clears throat> wow. Well, I think that uh, it's just gonna sound like a biker gang is just gonna take over my apartment complex. Anyways, so let me just share with you really quick how to kind of put stuff together on your boards. So you're just gonna come over here and you can choose your text, you can um, come up here and you can change to a different font if you'd like. Let's go to the picture. So this is where I have the most fun. You go to elements up here and you can just type anything in that you like. You could choose um, pig. I don't know why that <laughs> was my, I'm clearly just thinking about farms, okay? <laughs> Not under fashion, oh my god. Okay, wait, let, let's just choose like heels that there we go okay so you can choose like whatever you like they have graphics they have photos you can choose from so you can put something like that and it's just really easy you just drag and drop so you can put like a background like this if you'd like which i love to do and then to change the position of it if you have like multiple layers is you just come up here to position and then you could just put this forward and toggle that back and forth um, and then if you want to save this on your computer, you want to go and print it out, all you have to do is you just go to file and then you go to download. And then it will give you <clears throat> the different things. You're going to choose PDF or PDF print, like whichever. And then you can have your little vision book saved or vision board book, whatever. I don't know what you want to call it. So I wanted to include this as my last is my last thing to share with you guys. I want you to think about the happiest time in your life, okay? What was going on? I'm like about to flash you guys, oh no. <laughs> oh, it's the happiest time in your life. <laughs> no, I really want you guys to think about this for a second because I've been doing a lot of reflecting. You know, I was having like a freaking stomach ulcer a few days ago. And um, yeah, like I was thinking about, okay, what was the happiest time in my life? And I really took a moment to think about this because I was in a little bit of a pessimistic state and I was thinking, I just, I was, I've never been happy. <laughs> and I was like, that's not true though. Finding happiness with other people and also having a friend group around that just likes to go out and do things. Like to me, that was happiness and being around nature too. 
those all of those things and then not being so stressed out about money and like all that because I was living at home at the time I was really focused on my passions and that really is what brings me joy in life so coming to terms with that it really informs me about the goals that I have for myself it always is fun to go back and read the things that you put on there so I love you guys so much take care and I'll see you guys in my next video Mwah.